Now we're going to solve part B. We're going to check the uncertainty principle is satisfied for the two stationary states here. So of course, once again, remind yourselves that the uncertainty principle tells us that the standard deviation for the position x multiplied by the standard deviation of the momentum p must always be larger than or equal to h bar over 2. So we're going to have to prove that this is always true for the two stationary states, xi0 and xi1. So for n equal to 0, the 0 stationary state, these are the expected values that we found in the previous few videos. So we're going to use these to find the expected value of, if, to find the standard deviation of x and p. So the standard deviation of x, by definition, we just apply the formula. So it's equal to the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x squared. So this, of course, is equal to 0. And then this term over here is just equal to h bar divided by 2m omega. And then we do the same thing for the standard deviation of p. So we have the expected value of p squared minus the expected value of p and then squared. So once again, this is equal to 0. So we just substitute this result in. And so now we check the uncertainty principle. We just multiply them together. And then we need to make sure that the result that comes out is always larger than or equal to h bar divided by 2. And then once you cancel these terms out, you see that you have 2 h bar, so it becomes h bar. And you have 2 square roots of 2, so they just become 2. So this product is equal to h bar divided by 2. So of course this is always larger than or equal to h bar over 2. So the uncertainty principle is satisfied for the zero stationary state. So we finish half of the problem. So now we need to do the same thing for the first stationary state. So we just repeat the process that just happened over here. So we find the expected value of the standard deviation of x. Once again, we use the same formula. The expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x and then squared. Once again, this is equal to 0, so we just have this term over here. And the same thing goes on for, for momentum as well. So all we do is just we substitute the results in. So this is equal to 0. For this, we just substitute this term in. And now we check the uncertainty principle. So taking the product of these two terms, you'll see that it is slightly different from what we had last time. And then once you cross out the these terms over here, you see that you have two h bars, so we have an h bar. You have two square root of three, so they multiply together to give you a three. Two square root of two, so they multiply together to give you a two. So now it's, this time it's, uh, the product is larger than last time. And of course, this is always, always larger than or equal to h bar over two. So the uncertainty principle is also satisfied for the first stationary state. And so essentially we've finished part B.